Good morning. I am standing here in the rain because I got a deer blind in my garage that I've been working on for the for my wife. But uh, we've got a little work to do on this big beast today. And I'm going to tell you a story first. Apparently it is the summer of tires for me. I had the boat trailer tire blow out. Then I had my daughter find the most interesting pointy rock that I've ever seen that actually managed to puncture one of the tires on the Copart Expedition. I was able to repair that one, so that wasn't too bad. It was actually a rock, uh, not a nail. But uh, about a week ago, a week and a half ago, we were headed up to a place that we hunt up in Arkansas, and I had the side-by-side -side on the back and some tools, things like that, ready to go. I wasn't towing anything. We just going up there to do a little bit of work, get it ready for the season. And coming down 20 in between Monroe and Ruston, it's a terrible section of road, it's all concrete, and, but the truck developed a pretty bad vibration that I blamed on the road because it's got 21,000 miles on it. What else could it be, right? So we made it to where we were going, but even after we turned off of uh, 20 and headed north out of Ruston, it was pretty shaky to the point where you couldn't put your drink in a cup holder or it was going to spill. And it's like, I don't, I did not remember that road being that bad. But again, okay, whatever. The roads in Louisiana are terrible. So I didn't really do much, anything, much of anything with the truck after we got up there until the two days later I got out and went out in the morning to a little dollar store about 10 miles away and it was terrible all the way down to low speeds. Before it was really only 65 and up, it was really bad. And so I got back to the camp, and it's like, okay, something's broke. It, this isn't, this isn't right. So I jacked it up, and I was kind of feeling it was coming from the right front a little bit more than everywhere else, but it was all shaking. So I jacked it up, and I was pulling on the tire and checking stuff and looking at all of the tie rods, sway bars, steering linkages, everything like that, make sure I didn't have anything that was coming loose, and it was all tight. And then I spun the tire, which was this one. And it's not round anymore. And I'll show you that in a minute. But this tire has gone square. I don't know if we can find it. There it is. Right here. This piece of the tire with three quarters of its tread left is not round because it's coming apart internally. Which, again, when I first bought the truck and saw that it had the obviously well-known, fantastic brand Nexon Rodian tires on it, I was super excited. Uh, and I noted that in one of my early videos. But uh, we'll get a closer up look at this once I get done yapping. I did not expect them to come apart at 20,000 miles, 21,000 miles. And after I found this, this was the worst one, so I put the spare on it, which had never been off the truck at that point. So it, it did good enough to get us home. But the other five all are some varying degrees of square. They're not round anymore. They're coming apart internal. Now I've taken great care on these tires because I didn't want to replace them. I wanted to try to get as much life out of these things as possible because my intent was to put a set of Rickson 19 and a halfs with some big tire with some good 19 and a half inch tires on this thing. But now that I have to put six tires on this, not quite when I was expected, I don't have the you know four thousand bucks that that set of tires is going to set me back. So I just went with a, about a twelve hundred dollar set of Continentals, which I'm sure will be infinitely better than this. Now, I don't know what Dodge is thinking, Fiatsler or whatever the heck they are now, when it comes to this junk, but it's starting to rain pretty good. 
But I had to take this thing in because of course something else broke. The four-wheel drive actuator on the front failed when we got home. As I was turning into the neighborhood, it went into four-wheel drive lip mode. So I made an appointment at a local dealer and they were able to change it out. It's, it's a 15 minute job to change it, but it's a $600 list part. So from a warranty perspective, that's one that they can keep doing. While I was there, while I was waiting for them to get it done, I wandered around in their lot, and they had about five doolies out there. None, no strippers like this ugly bugger. The cheapest one was 72000 list. The most expensive was 78000 list. And they all had Nexon garbage on them. I got an $80,000 pickup truck with $100 tires. And if you look at the reviews on Tire Rack or some of the other sites, <laughs> these aren't good. This is not uncommon. Some people may get good life out of them, just like some people may get good life out of China bombs on a trailer. But this is not uncommon for these tires. So it is what it is. I could warranty them, but it's going to end up costing me $500 or more to have a set of six of these pieces of crap put back on the truck that I don't want. So spend my own money, learn my lesson, put some nice tires on it, and then I'm not going to worry about it again. But I'll tell you what, if I ever buy another one of these, or if I ever buy another vehicle, new, I'm going to tell the selling dealer, if it has these tires on it, I'm, not, I'm refusing it. I will not take the vehicle until you put a good set of tires on it. This is garbage. This is BS. It is safety. And 21,000 miles in, these are all crap. Granted, this is a cheap truck, so it's like, okay, they put cheap tires on it, but you buy a nice Laramie Longhorn, could have the same damn junk on it. You don't want them. So, please, for the love of God, check your tire brands. Do not accept these types of tires. Stick with the main brands. Goodyear at a minimum, Michelin obviously, Continental I've had good luck with, the name brand, stick with those, force the dealer to do it. If they want to sell you the damn car, they'll do it. If they don't want to sell you the car, find a dealer that will, because this is a safety problem. These tires are perfect. They've been properly pressured. I've rotated them. I even had the alignment set. I set the alignment correctly so that they didn't burn the edges off. This is unacceptable under any circumstance. Now, if it had 80,000 on it, fine. It's, a, you know, it's not warrantied that long, good. But 20,000 miles, no, not gonna work. So I got six tires to change in the rain, which will be fun, but it is what it is. So now I'm gonna take this out of the rain, give you all a little bit closer look at what this thing actually looks like and why it was trying to shake my truck apart. So, so you can see the tread depth is nice and even all the way across, but this whole tire isn't square anymore. You can see on this left side, well the inside of where the way this one was set up on the front, it's taller than the outside. And it's impossible to keep straight up anymore because of this bulge. If you can see, we've got fairly straight lines here, and the lines here do a whoop de doo you know, they go around, and they bulge up half an inch or better. This is not an abused tire. I rarely drive this truck. I only tow with this truck. And this is garbage. And this is the worst one, but they're all starting to look like this. They all are starting to have treads that don't go straight anymore. Now, I may cut this up as we go, but we'll see. Anyway, hope you're all are having a good day. Looks like I'm about to get wet. Take care. I don't know what to say. I hope you're all having a good day. I've got some other parts I may be putting on this thing. Might do a little video showing some of those. Always, I appreciate any support you all give by going to my Amazon affiliate. 
And uh, if you got any questions, comments, or anything else, please let me know. Thanks for watching.